In this unit circle survival guide, we're going to find the exact value of the cosine of negative five pi. And we'll be using the SARC method in its abbreviated form because our angle, negative five pi, is actually a quadrantal angle, which just means its terminal side falls on an axis. So we are abbreviating this method to the S and C method. So here's our quick outline for this method. We only need to sketch the angle's terminal side to get the coordinates, and then we'll calculate our trig ratio. And we're doing that for the cosine of negative five pi. So two things to notice about our angle. It's negative, which means we're rotating in the clockwise direction. And the second thing is that it's more than one clockwise rotation, um, because one clockwise rotation would be negative two pi. Now you may be able to look at negative five pi and know where its terminal side is, but if you're having any difficulty with that, I'd suggest finding a co-terminal angle to negative five pi. And that just means they share the same terminal side and differ in how many rotations it takes to get there. So all you have to do to find coterminal angles is add two pi. So we can add two pi and we know that negative three pi would be coterminal to negative five pi. If you still weren't really happy with sketching that, just add another two pi and you'll get negative pi. So negative pi is coterminal to both negative three pi and negative five pi. The terminal side is in the same place. We just rotate differently to get there. All right, so let's go ahead and sketch that. Remember, we're rotating clockwise because of that negative sign in front of our angle. So here's zero, here's negative pi over two, here's negative pi. It's a half rotation in the clockwise direction. So let's go ahead and sketch the terminal side. And remember, we name this a quadrantal because the terminal side is there on the axis. It's on the negative part of our horizontal axis. All right, uh, now let's find the coordinates. So here's the origin, and we know a unit circle is called that because its radius is one. So it's very simple to find the coordinates that correspond to this angle. So we went left one, so the coordinates are negative one, zero. And now we can use these coordinates to calculate our trig ratio. So the cosine of an angle on the unit circle is simply the x coordinate. And so not a lot of calculating here. All we have to do is look at the x coordinate and we know that the cosine of negative five pi is going to be negative one. Thanks so much for watching. Um, if you want more examples or um, help with any other unit circle topics, uh, be sure to check out the links in the video description.